this in past videos, but I know there's a lot of new viewers. So hi, hello, welcome. I am making our cold foam iced coffee this morning. Even Zach is addicted to this coffee. It is so good. Basically, we just get this Starbucks iced coffee. We like the unsweetened and then it's the medium roast. I think that medium is better because it doesn't taste burnt. Um, and a lot of you are saying that blonde is really good too, so we'll have to try that. And then we get the Natural Bliss Sweet Cream Cold Brew. This is like the easiest sweet foam coffee ever. A lot of the times if Zach, Zach will sometimes fall asleep on the couch and just sleep on the couch sometimes. But if he wakes up before me, he'll go out to the couch and I usually sleep in. I'm not the biggest morning person, to be honest. Okay, and then I just take this like little mason jar and I put some in there. If I'm just making my own, I'll fill it up to like about right there. But since I'm making both of ours. And then I just have this milk frother. I will link it down below. And I just froth it until it doubles in size. Or like almost doubles. You can kind of feel that it's frothed. And I like this coffee because you can control the like calories and carbs, especially if you are watching that. And then we just top it with cinnamon. It is so good. Especially if you like the Starbucks sweet cream. It's not as thick, the cream isn't as thick. But I tell you, it's so good. And even Zach likes it, and he's not the biggest, like, have to have coffee every morning kind of person. We're donating that stuff. Oh, my favorite. Okay, so, hello, here's me without makeup. So many of you guys have been requesting a makeup routine or like how I do my makeup. And I have horrible lighting in the bathroom. So I brought my big mirror out here, which is, or in our bedroom, which is good because I'm gonna show you guys some like just fashion staples as well. I did share them in my um, current favorites, but I'm gonna kind of put an outfit together and stuff. So. I wanted to make sure that you guys had good light, so I brought this big mirror in the bedroom. Also, Zach is cooking. We live in a tiny apartment, so we are working with it, but that's the nice thing about vlogs because they're a little more cash. Um, okay, so I wanted to start by saying that I use um, this Hawaiian Tropics. Sunscreen is like so important, and this is like, it's like almost out. I gotta I got get another one. I am like big on sunscreen because I am more of a fair person. So I like to make sure I do my sunscreen. Now I do tan, but I, um, okay. I do tan, like if I go outside, I will catch a tan. But I'm trying not to like, I really ruined my skin. Like I've gotten so freckly because of sun damage. So I do use um, a little bit of self tan. I usually only do like one coat because it really does make me feel better. And then I just use a ton of sunscreen every single day just to try to like preserve my skin, but also like feel a little bit more confident. And I just feel like having that little bit of a tan just really helps you feel a little more confident, you know? So that's what I do. I try not to go overboard though. Like I try to make it look natural okay I have the most basic I literally do the the same thing every single day I have the most basic uh, makeup routine literally all of my makeup fits in this bag and I used to have a lot more and then I went I just was like you know what like I'm just gonna kind of cut back a little bit and just use what I 
or just have what I use, you know? So I start out, this is the best foundation ever. It's full coverage. I like full coverage. And I, uh, it's the Revlon Color Stay uh, for combination to oily, which I heard is like the way to go. I'm in the color 220, but it's a little like pink. So I mix it with 392. And I love this foundation so much. And I just have my nasty uh, Real Techniques uh, sponge. I already got it wet before I came in here. Also, sorry for the electrical box back there. I um, I was gonna get something to put over it, but usually that door is open and it covers it. But anyway, okay. So I just do like one pump of each color and kind of mix it. And then I actually have pretty, or I used to really have troubled skin, but it's definitely like cleared up quite a bit. I've gotten some chemical peels and that just made it so much worse. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of cleared up a little bit. I do like a full face and I, I do my makeup every single day, every day. There's not a day that goes by that I don't wear makeup and here's why. I really love to be ready. I love, I like, it makes me feel better about myself. And then also, like, if a friend ever calls me and, like, wants to go grab lunch, I'm ready. Like, I'm not, I don't have to be like, oh, let me, like, oh, I'm not ready. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I'm always ready to hang. Ready to party, honey. Like, you can call me and I'm ready to go. You can always count on me, unless I'm busy. <laughs> but, you can always count on me. So I just do my whole face and I just do those two little pumps and I try to make it go throughout my whole face. Okay, then after that, I do one like half pump, a very small one of the lighter color because I do have that self tan and then a little bit of a little bit more. And I bring it down my neck, I bring it all the way down to my collarbone i just do not like my neck to be a different color hopefully i can like i'm getting it good because i can barely see like this side's kind of shaded you know what i mean <clears throat> and i'm trying to go kind of fast for you guys i always make a coffee dripping all over me the condensation okay and then sometimes I'll take that lighter color and kind of go over my troubled areas again I get like hormonal acne so I do have like discoloration I have a tretin tretinol tretinol I forget what it's called but it basically like bleaches your skin and gets rid of sun damage uh, that I, I need to start up again. I took a break from it. It's like retinol and tretinol, I think, is, and you mix them. But it like gets rid of sun damage. It's amazing. I was shocked because I did have some pretty bad hyperpigmentation and my face has really like gotten a lot better. Okay, then I'm taking this e.l.f camo concealer. I was such a fan of the, uh, what's it called? Um, Tarte Shape Tape, but this stuff, honestly, and it's like six bucks, I think. You guys, it's great. Now, I go a little darker because I don't know if I really love, like, it's super light under my eyes. So I do go a little darker. I'm in the color Light Peach. It's a more of a little warmer. Like it covers it up. Now, the one thing, when you get a little older, you gotta slow down on the full coverage because that ish goes right into those fine lines. You know? The next thing that I do is I set my powder straight away. I just have all the Sonia Kashuk brushes and I'm using, I have mostly drugstore makeup. Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is in Sandstorm. 
I got a little bit of a darker powder too, just cause again, like I didn't, I was kind of over that really white under my eyes. I just didn't think it was very flattering on me. And then I just kind of take it right here, all around my like creasing. I like can't tell if this side is like super blended. Then what I do is I just take another little brush and I fill in my eyelids. I do not wear a lot of, um, what do you call it? Eyeshadow, not really my thing. It never really has been. I don't know, it's, it's a weird thing. <clears throat> okay, then I go straight in with my bronzer. I use the Butter Bronzer by Physician Formula. This is in the bronzer color. It's a little bit more of a cooler undertone. And then I also have Sun Kissed, which is a little warmer. So I do these. And I just kind of, I'm kind of messy with my makeup, honestly. But I just try to like hit, like hit it where, or get it where the, like if I were to get a tan where it would hit, you know? So I just kind of, this is the best brush. I don't know if, if I can link it, I will. Matter of fact, I'll link all of these products. But I love this brush. And I just kind of go down here, just with that like first application of my bronzer, I'm kind of messy. Also, I just got these earrings in and I am so happy about them. It's so funny because I put them on my Instagram and a lot of you guys said they look like macaroni. <laughs> and I was dying. I was like, oh my gosh, you guys have the best sense of humor. But I, um, I'll link these down below, but they're so chunky. I love them so much. And they're that good gold too, you know? Like sometimes the gold looks a little pink. I even have some of that stuff that just looks a little too pink. Oh girl, I better hurry up. It's already 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, and then I go back in with my powder and I kind of, do that chisel it out a little bit um, I gotta say I am so freaking thankful for you guys being so patient with me I am pretty new to doing YouTube and if you guys oh I'm taking <laughs> can you tell I'm new I'm taking the bronzer in the warmer color the sun kissed and I'm just kind of going on like giving myself a little cheekbone you know Contouring, that's what it's called, contouring. And deepening up certain little spots. Now, I am blonde, so I gotta be careful because that will get in my hair. But what I was saying was, I am so freaking thankful for so many of you guys being so patient with me growing and like going in the comments and like helping me out with like making my videos better and all of that. They're gonna eat right now. Oh, I can. Um, I'm gonna take a break from doing my makeup and eat my breakfast. Zach just delivered me breakfast. Look how cute. I got some eggs, some avocado. Hot sauce? I'm actually gonna come out there, but I will show you guys. Yeah, Cholula, please. Okay, we're gonna take a break from the makeup because I'm gonna go grab on my breakfast and then I'll be right back to finish. Okay, so we left off, had my breakfast, we're back. Um. I think I left off on bronzer. I do love some bronzer. Just like really livens up your face, you know? Okay. So I gotta be careful because sometimes I will get a little heavy on the bronzer. Okay. Now, this one, this is what I think is key. So I have the Becca, the uh, Chloe and Malika palette. And it just has a couple colors and a couple highlighters and a little bronzer. Sometimes I actually do like this bronzer. I think it's kind of a nice little uh, contouring bronzer. But what I think is key is to put your highlighter, if you want like that glow from underneath kind of look, put your highlighter underneath your your blush. And I'm, I'm not like, like, like I said, I'm kind of messy with my makeup. Like I just kind of put it on, but I drag it down onto my cheek as well. And I think it just kind of gives you that like 
I don't know, like a little bit more, um, like every day, like softer kind of look, you know, softer glow. So I pull it down onto my cheek and I don't get like too like specific with it. Yes, I do. I just am kind of messy with it is basically what I'm trying to say. I don't want to make this video or this portion of the video a million hours long. So I'm trying to hurry for you guys. And I just kind of, you know what I do think is cute and like a lot of people don't love it is like, that little cutie little highlighter on the tip of the nose. Mm, I think she's so cute. So next I am doing my blush. I, oh, you guys, blush is so old. I really need to do a makeup shop. Uh, this is P, oh wait, no, this is Flora Power by MAC. It's just a matte um, blush. And I actually kind of like the matte blush with the highlighter underneath because I think it helps keep it toned down rather than having that um, shimmery blush with the shimmery highlighter. I don't know, I think that this is so cute. And I've been using this one right here. It's like a little bit pink, a little bit gold. There's, there is a pink one that you could put on too. I don't even know if you can get that palette still, so I don't know, I don't, I'll link it if I can. So I just take this blush brush I get it on there. Now, I love blush. Like, I have to kind of tone it down on the blush because I will get heavy with it. But I just, again, just kind of slap it on there. Now, when I say that I'm kind of messy, I still make sure I blend it. I just don't, I'm not like, I like it to look like really blended, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I just pop it on there. You guys, this left side of my face is kind of hard to see. And then what I think is also so cute is you just put a little bit of blush right on the tip of your nose and it almost looks like you got like a little bit of a sunburn. It's really cute. Same with bronzer, depending on like your complexion, you could totally do like bronzer if that's gonna like suit you a little bit better. But whatever, you know, goes best with you, do that. Then I take the brush that I had the bronzer on and I just, go over my whole face and blend it. And I think this makes all the difference. And I don't put anything on it, I just kind of let whatever extra is sitting on my face, whatever extra is on the brush, just kind of blend it all in. I don't know why I do this, I've been doing it for years. Sometimes I will do like, um, let's see, this powder, the Laura Mercier powder, and I will do that if I'm really trying to have like a perfect look. I'll do that. And then at this point, if I feel like I need a little bit more highlighter, I'll just pop on a little bit more in that like highlighter spot. But that just kind of depends on the day and what I'm doing, especially like date nights or, or anything like that. Okay, next what I do, because my eyelids will get a little too light, so I will pop on a little bit of that bronzer just right on my eyelids, and literally, you guys, that is all I do on my eyelids. I know, it's crazy. Then I take this little, like, pencil. Um, I have this Naked Basics. Don't judge it how bad this is. It, they're the black broke inside, so it, like, got really disgusting on the outside. And I take the color Faint, which is just a brown. I have blue eyes, so brown really, like, helps my eyes pop. And I just kind of drag this along down here and then I take it along the it's just a brown let me show you this you guys don't judge me this palette is bad it's this color right here um I really need to go makeup shopping but I've been buying too much home decor okay so I just kind of take it where it kind of, it's like kind of messy. And then what I do is I take just a little eyeshadow brush and I like soften it out. And then I'll take like a little tiny bit on that brush and just kind of soften it out like so. And then I will take a angled brush and grab that same color 
and then I make a just like a brown. Zach's out there doing dishes, you guys. So sorry if it's loud. And I create like a little bit of a wing. Now you can do this like longer or shorter, whatever you prefer. And then I just kind of drag it and connect it to the messy part that I did. So you can see there. And then I do the same thing on the other side. I need to start doing my makeup out here. That's what I need to start doing. you what when you get around some light you can really see how much makeup you're actually putting on holy crap I do like a full face though so usually what we'll do Zach and I whoever cooks the other person does the dishes which is always me I always do the dishes because Zach always cooks he's such an incredible cook and I can't wait to start sharing some of his recipes and things on here because oh my gosh you guys he's so good and I've been telling him to start sharing on Instagram more so he's gonna start doing that but <clears throat> he loves cooking he's very humble about it though like he doesn't really like flaunt about being a good cook but let me tell you girl the boy can cook okay Okay, so next I do my eyebrows, and I used to do the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I found this, it, that one was like running out, so I got this one from Target. It's just from, because I was like, I don't have time to go to Sephora or order, like I am out of brow stuff. So I have this NYX Brow Pencil, and I've been loving this, and sometimes too what I'll do, I usually like take a wipe and wipe off my eyebrow, but I forgot to bring one in. So if there's any like powder or anything, so maybe if I just spoolie it, it'll kind of clean it out a little bit. Sometimes, you know, you get that foundation on it. Now, I gotta say that I was blessed with some thick brows. Thank you, Mama. She had the most beautiful brows. She was so beautiful. So I like to just kind of fill them in just a little bit because although I have like thick brows, I, they do need a little bit of a fill in here and there, you know what I mean? So I just kind of like outline them a little bit. This is the color blonde. I actually think I need like the ash or a little bit of a darker color. This is maybe a little light for my brows. And I just follow my natural eyebrow line. You guys, I grew up in the early 2000s, was like when I was like, okay, my foot is asleep. Um, was when I was in like middle school and high school. Uh, yeah, middle school and high school. And back then I had like thin eyebrows and I'm just so thankful that they didn't stay thin not that anything's wrong with that but I really love my natural eyebrows and I probably you guys this is so bad but I don't even go get them done I probably should just go get them cleaned up you know like just the little hairs down here but I'll pluck them if like there's one that's like out of place or a little darker or something but for the most part I don't touch my eyebrows next I do a nude eyeliner uh, eyeliner so I really like the way this looks it just makes your eye pop so I take this nude it's called medium it's just a nude just in WPO2 medium nude pencil by NYX and I just put this on my waterline I think it really helps your eyes pop I've been doing this for a little bit now and I like it okay and then last but not least actually then lips but I just do my mascara 
Now, when I'm filming, I do like to pop on some lashes and I, oh, you know what? I'll wear lashes today so I can show you because a few of you have requested how I do that. I don't wear lashes every day, but when I do, I will show you. I learned this trick from a girl off of Instagram and it is such a game changer. So I will include that in this video. I wasn't gonna wear lashes today, but you guys convinced me. Okay, so I give them a nice curl. Now when I wear lashes, I just do, you know what though? I've been having problems with these. I have always loved the Falsies by Maybelline and then this is the Falsies Lash Lift. But you know what? I gotta say that it's been transferring to my eyelid pretty bad. So I need to like find me a new one. So I do, I use the Grande Lash Serum. And I just do one little strip of that on my lashes every night and it really does help. I did already have like pretty good lashes, to be honest, like they're, they're already kind of long, but I wanted them like even longer. I don't know, you know, us girls and the things we get into, but I don't, I just do like a light to medium coat of mascara. And then on the bottom, I've been so into like barely having any on there. Like I just kind of barely touch them. Um, okay, so with lashes, I love the Ardell Naked Lashes and I get the number 422. I am kind of looking for something a little bit more dramatic. These are very, very natural. I use the Duo Lash, this is the best glue that I found. And I have it in the white. Um, I Sometimes I did the clear. Or what am I talking about, the dark? And I just put quite a bit on the back of my hand. And then while I'm lining up my lashes, cause I cut them into quarters. So I cut four little lashes. So I line them up, make sure they're like ready to go. And then, ooh, my fan's on and it's blowing my lashes. One sec. I take the lash on my tweezer, like so. And normally you would do the bottom of the lash so you could close your eye and put it on top. You're gonna do the top of the lash so it looks like that. Oh, this is kind of hard. Hold on, let me try to get in a little closer to you guys. Okay, so you can see how it's rounded. Normally you would do it this way. You're gonna flip it over so it's on the other side. Grab a little bit of glue like so and then you're going to place it i'm going to try to get real close to you guys underneath your eye not on your tight line because you will get glue in your eye but if you don't but if you put it on your lash you don't get glue in your eyes now just like that. And then when you look down, you can't even tell you're wearing lashes. It's amazing. This is like such a game changer. Um, I get lots of questions about this. Like, does it rip out my lashes? It will rip out a lash here and there, but I think it's more because that it's time for that lash to go. Not necessarily because it's like ripping it out. You know what I mean? So that's kind of like my thoughts on it. Cause it really doesn't like rip out the lashes crazy. It really doesn't. It just will rip out a lash here and there. Like I said, cause I think it's just time for that lash to go. You don't get glue in your eye unless you get it on your tight line. If you get it on your tight line, you will get glue in your eye. I have gotten glue in my eye, but it's because I've either put too much glue or got it too close. But most of the time, especially when you get comfortable doing it, Try to get in close to you guys. I actually have a lot of glue on this one right here. But if you can see, and then you just kind of push it up and it's good to go. If you take it off and have to redo it, you will get glue on your bottom lashes and they'll start sticking. So you'll want to make sure you get that off of your bottom lashes 
this one I have way too much glue on, so I could totally see it getting in my eye, but it's not because I didn't get it on that tight line. And then I just go, I go back and forth between each eye just because, I don't know why I just do that. But that's what I do, and that's how I do my lashes. Okay, we are on to lips. By the time I'm done with my makeup, I have foundation all over my lips. Now you can wipe it. I just, whatever, I just put makeup over the top of it. I'm using Marc Jacobs in the color Nudist. Look at that nude. I think this is like the perfect nude. I'm gonna get a little closer. I think it's the perfect nude for so many different skin tones. I don't know, it's just like not too orange, but like if you have like a darker skin tone, it's gonna give you that lighter look, which I like sometimes. It's just beautiful. So I just follow my natural lip line. I do like to overdraw just the tiny, tiniest bit. So a lot of people will say just to fill in that Cupid's bow, that's gonna give you that like Bratz doll kind of look. I actually think it depends on your lip. So my lip kind of goes straight on the ends. So that's where I like to kind of overline or like make it a little bit more round to give it more of that full look and make my lips look a little more even. And I keep my Cupid's bow instead of filling it in. At this point, I kind of decide if I'm gonna do my Kisu Lip Mask by Tatcha, I will fill my lips in with the lip liner because it doesn't move. But if I do my lipstick, I will just do my outline like I did, which I'll do my lipstick today because this is my favorite combo. I do the Charlotte Tilbury Kim KW. It's mine's like almost gone, I love this freaking lip liner or lipstick excuse me and then I fill it in like so and then what I do from there is I take my lip liner again and I kind of shade it in This is my everyday makeup. I'm gonna do my next vlog, I will do my hair because this is just way too long, I already know it. So I will do how I do like my everyday hair. A lot of the times I just do like the low bun with the bangs. So I'll show you guys in my next vlog kind of like the different hairstyles, my go-to hairstyles. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you my outfit, but I wanted to share, so Zach and I are gonna go look at some neighborhoods um, cause we are looking to buy a house very soon. So we're going to go look at some neighborhoods. I'm going to put on just a little bit of this Coca Cabana bronze oil that I've showed you guys before. I really love this stuff. I'm just going to put like one squirt on and you just put it like right on your chest and it comes in all different colors or like, it's mostly just like finishes. So it could be like a rose gold finish, this one's like a bronze finish, and I just, it just makes you feel a little more sexy, you know, and I love it. And every time I wear it, Zach's always like, oh, your skin is glowing, and I'm like, oh baby, that's the oil. Um, okay, and then I already showed you guys the earrings I'm wearing, which I just got these, if you saw on Instagram, I already shared them, they're like that super chunky hoop. The ones that I'm wearing all the time in videos are these ones. You can see how much chunkier these are. So I love those. I have my letter necklace. Our last name's Jackson. So I'm gonna wear the J, I think. You guys, let me show you how much of a problem this is. So here is a lot of my jewelry and this is just like on top. I have more like down underneath. A lot of this is costume jewelry. So I'm really into the gold. I love like a chunky necklace too, but since I have the chunky earring, I think I'm gonna go with more of the like more like delicate piece. 
And I think like the thing that's nice about Delicate is it's always gonna stay in style. You know what I mean? Like having Chunky, this is gonna go out of style, but I just try to find affordable pieces because it's gonna go out of style, but I just have a crap ton. So I find with like the gold jewelry, you have to kind of match the gold because I, this is my favorite, is this kind of color gold, which is kind of like that bright gold. But sometimes like this one is not quite as bright gold, if you can see the difference. I mean, I guess like on camera, it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I will wear that. Okay, cool. Um, and I'm probably just going to wear this chunky bracelet that you guys have been seeing me wear all the time. I love it. Not a big bracelet person, but lately I've been like kind of into it. I just think it like makes me feel a little bit more put together and you know, a little cute. So I'm going to put on my jewelry and then I'm going to show you guys my outfit. Okay, you guys. So this is the outfit. I'm kind of deciding between my slides or just basic Javianas. I feel like Javianas just make your feet look a little bit more delicate. Where slides, I don't know, I think it just kind of like tones down your outfit. Like if you have just a bunch of jewelry on and you have some slides on, I feel like it's more approachable. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really, really love my slides. And honestly, well, I probably will do my flip-flops because we are, and these flip-flops are actually fairly affordable, but I just think they're cute. Um, we're gonna go look at some neighborhoods that we may look into buying a house at. Uh, and then I'm just wearing this Abercrombie bodysuit. I do have my Spanx on underneath always. I'm always in Spanx. And then these Abercrombie jeans that I cannot get enough of. I love these so much. They are so cute. And then picking out the shoes i'm probably gonna do javianas and then i have this bracelet from h m i will have all of this stuff linked below you guys saw these earrings that i shared in my stories yesterday and then i just have this chunky necklace i may i probably won't do one more but and then this necklace that i share all the time from amazon so everything is linked below like i said in the next um vlog I will do a couple hairstyles that I like my go-to hairstyles so many of you guys know I am a creature of habit I am always in the same stuff all the time I just like switch it out but I just think one it saves me a lot of money I do want to build like my basics wardrobe and I will share that with you guys just because I do need more jeans and I need a lot more, not like a lot more, I, you know, whatever. I have a few things that fit me, but I just wanna like expand my outfit just a little bit, but basics that will last me a long, long time. So that's kind of the goal that I'm going for. And then I, I showed you guys my makeup. So we are off to go look at houses. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did go with the Javianas, but I forgot to mention with the Sphinx, a lot of you guys ask if they roll down. I try to put it underneath my bra so it will stick, but sometimes in the back it does roll down, but I just pull it up. It doesn't bug me that much compared to how much I love having them on, so I just kind of deal with it being annoying personally. But I um, do size true to size, so I get medium in my Spanx. I sometimes squeeze in a small if I'm really trying to like suck it in, like get it all sucked up, but those make me a little uncomfortable. And even the medium, like when I'm sitting down or I eat, they like fill me, like make me feel full kind of soon. So, which I mean, I guess isn't a bad thing, but just to let you know about the sizing. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna try to be as still with my hands as possible. So we like to come out, one, to keep us motivated, and two, to get like a vision. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that See, is. I like that. We, okay, our, when we, had our, we owned, owned our house back in Oregon, we were in a subdivision, which is totally fine. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. We loved our house, we loved our neighborhood, it felt safe, it was beautiful. But I think for like our next home or the home after that, we really do want something with a little bit more land. 
So we're looking at these. Oh, I like that one too. Look at that oh, really light. Nice. How pretty. That's really nice. That's so, that's what I want, babe. And look at the pool house. That's awesome. <gasps> that's so cute. So we just want something with a little bit more land, a little bit more privacy. We, we're kind of, we're not like partiers, but we like to have a good time. A vibe. Ooh, a vibe. Ooh, I like that. See, I like it like kind of back in there, like it's a, almost a little mysterious. So you can't even see it. But anyway, yeah. we're finding that living in the city, you gotta kinda go search for these houses. They're a little bit harder to find. Um, but we found this little neighborhood. I don't even know where we are. So here in Arizona, the ranch style houses, my biggest problem is like they're so short and I want like a house with like higher ceilings. I don't know if it's the heat. I don't know, if you guys are from Arizona, why are the houses so short? <laughs> I don't know why. But that's kind of our dream is to have a house. And we, it may be our next home. It may be the one after that, just depending on what, you know, what we can afford and, and all of that. But I like these. And we're thinking like, not a, we're not thinking like land. We're thinking like an acre or two. An acre. Is acre a lot? Not a lot of but kind of. Okay, it's an like acre. It's huge, but... Half acre? Yeah. How much were those houses? Some of them were a couple acres, but... Yeah, some of those were really big. But I kind of want, like, my dream is to have, like, a pool house that people can come visit because we have a lot of family back in Oregon that so they can have their own space. Yeah, that would be awesome. That would be, like, the dream. That would be so cool. And they can go out to the pool when they want. They have their own little, like, kitchenette. I'm not thinking anything major, maybe, maybe, but, yeah. I just don't want our, like these, these are way too close to the fence. Yeah. I don't like that. And the only reason why I'm being picky is because we've lived in that, and I think I kind of got to know what I like a little bit more. But yeah, anyway. How many of those are you getting? Uh, probably do we have an orange? Because someone one. said to do an orange. We won. Topo Chico. Oh, that's it. We're on the hunt. We cannot find the Topo Chico. We have no idea. Where is that? What the heck? The LaCroix right here. Got it. He found it. I feel like I was looking for the bottles. Oops, sorry. Chico. I'm gonna make some ran a bunch of ranch water today. Ranch water, are those all the same? What do you mean? Yeah, oh. they're just like, they're different labels throughout the year. Oh, cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We got that and then limes and then we already have tequila at home. And then one of you recommended doing orange. So I'm going to try that. Zach is... a little sweeter. I don't think I'd like that. I might like that. Anything else we need? No, I think that's it. Okay. Well, we're getting limes, tomato, and Topo Chico. Cool. Do we have enough uh, tequila? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, you guys, it's Zach's Sunday, so we are going to go out to the pool for a little bit and hang out because he has to go to sleep kind of early. He works really early in the morning. So we're making ranch water. Yeah, we put this on Instagram, and a lot of you guys wanted to know how you make it. Matter yeah. of fact, you should probably just do one, and we'll share on Instagram the other one. Okay. Good idea. One lime. Cut that in half. Juice of just half of it. You can do however much tequila you want. Do you just mix it with a spoon? I don't know, any of it. I do just like a shot. You can mix if you like. I don't. 
An extra dish, and I'm lazy. <laughs> An extra dish, that's true. Uh, I'm gonna fill it with ice. Why would you put the ice in first? You okay. There's no wrong, right or wrong way. Um, also, we like Alto's tequila. Alto's, it's, it's so it's good. A, it's not an expensive brand by any means. I think this is 15 bucks for the 750 milliliter. It's very underrated. But for the price, I'm sure you can get way better ones. It's really good. Topo Chico, filled to the top. Super easy. I'm gonna try mine with orange. One of you wrote me on I'm gonna try mine with orange. One of you wrote me on Instagram saying orange makes it a little sweeter. I'm gonna get lipstick on this, is that fine? Sorry. Wow. It is tart. I gotta I gotta say that's pretty tart for me. It is. If you like citrus, no like sugar taste at all, I think it's perfect. Mm -hmm. You'll like if you like that. it sweeter or a lot of flavors going on, you saw it's three ingredients, so. Yeah. Now, if you don't follow us on Instagram, go follow or follow me and Zach. He's going to start doing a little bit more recipes, but we're going to turn this off. Oh, you want me to do? Okay. Might as well try it. Okay. I've never done this before. Let's see what orange is. It still has tart, but it does, it kind of softens it a little bit. I think either way is good. I do too. It's very citrusy. I almost like the orange a little better. Mm. Cute. Look how cute. So cute. It's so good. Mm. Ooh, girl, look at that highlight. Whoa. Mm. That's yummy. Can't be sucking that down or <laughs> you'll be crawling home. What's up? What's up? We're just down at our pool. It's hot out today. It's like 117 out. I think we got it to 118. 118. We're drinking our ranch water that Zach made. We have the whole pool to ourselves. It's so nice. And yeah. This is delicious. <laughs> it is so good. I can't flip it around. By the way, if you guys follow me on Like to Know It, I have my bathing suit linked, which is like a high-waisted bathing suit. It's from, um, airy and it's one of the best you look good in it too oh thanks cutie i have i have the black and i have the green and it just for curvy girls it, it's like tight enough where it like sucks you in and i like the high-waisted because it makes my legs feel longer because i'm a shorty i'm only i'm not even five two i'm like five one i'm like almost five two i just say five two um but it's my favorite swimsuit maybe zach here zach hold that but it's just like a high-waisted swimsuit and i kind of pull it up and make it a little cheeky but you don't have to do that but it's a good one so let me see if i can it's so good and i love it especially for my curvy girls out there it makes you your legs look long it holds you in it's so good and their sizing is really great i think I have a medium, I'd say it's true to size. If not, you could size down. And I've had these for a couple of years now, right? Yeah, and they are still in really great shape. So, just thought I would let you guys know. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just chilling. Zach has to go to sleep at like eight o'clock, or nine, maybe nine. Yeah. And we are just enjoying our pool and our I always want to call it rainwater. What's it called? Rainwater. Ranch, Ranch water. water. Ranch water. But then we're gonna make dinner and chill Just and edit this vlog. Nice.
chicken and rice. I'm trying to be better. That's the other thing about ranch water. That recipe is it's really good as far as like, there's no sugar. It's like, all it is is sparkling water, lime, and tequila. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a skinny drink. <laughs> okay guys, we love you. Thanks for watching our video. Give this video a, th a thumbs up for more vlogs. Give it a video, or give this video a thumbs up for more of Zach, of this handsome guy. Oh. And we will see you guys in our next one. Bye.